Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Tonight we got the Convoy M21G. This has a XHP 70.3 and I believe this is uh, 5500 lumens up to, or maybe 5200. We'll check it out here in a sec. Um, this is one I'm kind of excited about. Uh, this is basically a 70.2 de-domed. Um, it does have a smooth reflector and at all my 70.2s and I don't have none with they're all crumpled reflectors so I was always curious to you know see how that would perform with a smooth reflector so here we have a chance um, from what I'm gathering they de-dome them you get a little more throw less power that's just from the little bit of reading I've done I haven't dug really deep into this LED but from what I gather um, that's the the basic uh, output of them. More throw, less lumens, I guess. All right, um, let me show you guys where we can get it. You can get it at AliExpress. You get a lot of flashlight here for the money. Um, this is, uh, you get it for $40.95 with that GTFC 40 LED. And if you want the the XHP 70.3, it jumps it up to 41. I actually paid, I got this when it first released or within the first week of releasing or whatever. And uh, mine was like 44. So yeah, you can get it all the way down. Look at this, 1800 to 2000 Kelvin. Wow, that would be like orange. And you can get it 3033, 4045, 5, in that. GTFC 40 LED and you can get it all the way down to 3000 K with the XHP 70. I got mine with the 5000 K. That's what I like about Convoy you guys. You see, you know, they give you a menu. Um, it's pretty, uh, I like it. I, I really like that about their lights. All right, so this one right here, um, basically is telling you if you get it with the GTFC 40, you get four amp driver. And the XHP70, you get the 8 amp driver. And then it's a switch, tail switch controls on and off. And then your side switch controls the mode. And you only got one mode 1%, 10%, 40, and 100. And then double click for your strobe, which is cool. I mean, that's cool because this is a big light. Um, I like it. It's simple. You, everything's there. And uh, what else? And then they got a little diameter, you guys, the run times. So it looks pretty good. Turbo is the one that looks like it only lasts a couple of minutes before it goes off. And we'll test it though. We'll test this one right here. It's a good little graph. If you guys want to see the graph, pause it. Well, yeah, let's check it out. Let's tear into it. And uh, like I said, I did get the 5,000 Calvin. Comes with a little lid. And also, too, it came with this. Check this out. Nice. I had a little magnet, like a chrome or stainless steel. It was about the size of just the, the whole copper right here. Or gold plating, whatever. But yeah, I wonder if this will work on the 18650s, too. Because now I got... Something to connect them uh, flat tops, flat top adapter. All right, here it is. Let me get this out of the way, you guys. We are going to need that adapter. I'm going to put the. I did test it, turn it on. I test. I tested it with some so ferns, and I got um, over 4,000 lumens. So we'll test it. I got some Samsungs on the charger. And also too, I did have to take unscrew the head. It had something inside the lens. So now I got to reclean the glass. I just did it real quick. So I got my fingerprints in there, but there's a little piece. And then uh, on the body, it had some glue. I think it was from that wrap, the, um, that insert. I think how they glue, cause it's like stack pieces to make it. So and there's still some glue. I got most of it off. But other than that, it's a nice, this thing looks just like the SF47T. Oh man, it's like, except the LED is a lot bigger. If you can see the LED in there, smooth reflector, it's pretty slick. 
I want to see how this thing looks outside. I have not took it outside. All I did was just turn it on and check it with some Sofern batteries. Let's look at the springs. Looks good, wow. Nice. Everything looks good in there. Got the convoy on it. Looks good. Nice quality for the price. I mean, it's a lot of flashlight for the money. 40, I mean, I paid 43 for mine. But I don't believe I have this LED. Um, I said that last time on an LED and I ended up having like two or three of them, but I really don't think I have this. This is my first 70.3. I think I know because this 70.2 is one of my favorite LEDs. So we're gonna need this. We're gonna um, throw this on the meter and then we're gonna go outside and see what it looks like. That's what I wanna see. And I wanna see what it does with these, uh, these Samsungs. Let's see. Get these in right now. Take these. Yep. Yeah. Pop right in, perfect. Oh, not working, huh? Do something wrong. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I probably didn't hit the switch. I always forget about that. I do that all the time. Watch. It's probably going to come on now. There we go. <laughs> My bad, you guys. I forgot. This has a tail switch and a uh, uh, side switch. And no way to charge it, you guys. You have to charge your charge this on the... I think that's where the sofa got it. Uh, extra feature. Let's bring it over here. on whoa I think it's bright whoa I think it's at one percent so uh, level one is 155 lumens 477 for mode two or level two and then level three is 1500 lumens and then the grand finale, ooh, 4,200. Hit 4,200. That ain't bad. I think this is uh, recommended at um, 5,200, if I'm not correct. Actually, I can look real quick. Uh, yeah, 5,200 right there with uh, XHP 70.3 and then 3500 with the GTFC 40. I heard them GTFC 40 got really high CRI. That matters to you guys. I don't, I, if I do a little more research, I'll grab one. All right, so um, yeah, let's go take this bad boy outside and see what it looks like. This is what I'm excited to see about it. All right, you guys, see it's pretty dark back out here. We're gonna, um, Started off on low. Oh wow, when the camera's picking up on low, I can see the top of them trees back there. Let's see, we're gonna... There's medium. This is a nice little spotlight. There's high. And there's turbo, this is what I'm wanting to see. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, this thing is a monster throw flood from just this little angle right here. Wow. Wow, that's lighting all them trees up back there. Wow. Oops. I'm turning I'm sorry you guys. I'm seeing some. Jeez. Like that the hot spot literally blasts that whole tree right there. This is nice. These are the type of lights I like, you guys. And I hope you guys I know a lot of people are not fans. You guys are I mean, I'm not saying everybody, but that's the um beam profile. But I know a lot of people, you know. And the reason why I say that is because look at that. Unreal. This is really man, this is replacing my SF forty seven. Just for the simple fact how it spreads out that um that hot spot that far back. Um, if you're into these double cell lights, you guys, highly recommend. Unreal. This thing is a beast. Check the heat. Um, that's not even hot, you guys. For as long as we've been. I got this on turbo, too. Jeez, this thing is... I don't know if you guys see them tips back there. Them right there, I'd say them are probably about 200 to two, yeah, about 200. And then them ones right there are like a row behind them ones. And this is lighting that up easily. I don't know if the camera's picking them tips up back there, but I can see them clear as day. All right, I'm gonna do a strobe for you guys. Strobe is just two, two clicks on your trick on your um, side button. I'm more impressed with the beam shot. This strobe don't really look. I mean, I'm sure it'll blind somebody, but that right there is very impressive. Wow. I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, here's the low mode. Let's see what that low mode looks up close. I'm probably about four or five feet from this wall. So, and then, yeah, this, this low got a nice little range to it, too. Yeah, this is nice. I definitely uh, recommend this light. This Convoy M21G. All right, we'll bring it back in and wrap it up. Oh, actually, we're going to do a test. We're going to test it on high, you guys. Yeah, that's the uh, Convoy M21G, man. I'm very impressed. This thing is really nice. Uh, what I was saying out there, you got to know that, you know, this style light is um, not on a lot of people's radars is what I was getting at. But these things, I, these are like, <laughs> honestly, I love these lights. Like, these are part of my, um, what I like having in my arsenal nice powerful thrower but yeah let's take this over here and we're going to put it on the lumen meter and uh we're going to run we'll do a high because i already know the we'll see if it does hold its high actually i'm going to have to use that one because i think the next one up um yeah we have to use that one um another thing too i don't they, they, there's nothing on the throw i even try to look up the throw on like the forums you guys and I gotta get my other phone. Hold on one sec. All right. Um, let's turn it on. That's low. That's high. What is that? Yeah, 14 is good. I already know turbo is gonna drop, you guys. I gotta hold this because it's heavy. I already know that, like I said, the turbo is gonna drop. We're probably losing some lumens too because it don't fully fit. So it'll probably get a little more, but it's fine. See the basic drop of it. According to their their data specs, um, this is supposed to hold. This should hold the whole five minutes. 
Uh, you know, it, it drops casually, like a few. It's not gonna. It's, we're not supposed to have no big drop in this, which is cool. If you know, if it don't drop, that's what I'm looking for. We are at 40, 50 seconds, and I don't even remember where to start it at, you guys. I have to look at the film again. But I am going to pause it. It looks like it's doing pretty fine. I'll pause it and I'll bring it back in at two minutes. All right, approaching two minutes and 1439. Not bad. I'll bring you guys back in at three minutes. All right, we're approaching three minutes. I'll give you guys a little temperature on it, too. Look at that. Unreal. I told you it wasn't even hot when we were doing it on turbo. 100 degrees. No, 100, 100.2. So I'll bring you guys back in at four. Approaching four minutes, you guys. 14.35. I'll bring you guys in at five. We're at uh, 143. I mean, uh, 14.33, you guys. Yeah, I have no doubt that this will... 104. It's five minutes, 14.33. Yeah, that's what I'm holding. That's this is an awesome light. All right. Oops, sorry, you guys. I got too much of cameras all in the way. All right. Um, yeah, definitely awesome light. Um, right up my alley. So I'm gonna have fun with this. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a video, you guys, on a the comparison between the. 70.2 and 70.3 actually i'm gonna do it right after this video you guys so that one will be right after this video uh, i think this is an awesome led i'm already um definitely enjoying it i'm i'm gonna double check my lights uh, it might take a long time but i'm pretty sure i don't this is my first 70.3 i think i would really know but something's telling me i have one i don't know i'll double check somewhat my bigger lights but yeah, you guys, uh, definitely uh, appreciate everyone for tuning in. And another thing, if anybody knows the um, official throw, I, I got to dig into it a little more. I, I did, like I said, go on some forums to look for it. And the main things they were talking about is more throw and less power compared to the 70.2. So uh, if anybody knows, definitely uh, let me know, please. I appreciate it. And then on that one again, you guys, I appreciate everyone for tuning in. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.